This video is a compilation of my three most insane mob battles. Enjoy! Today I'm doing a Minecraft mob battle with my friend, but I can craft any mob! I have a mod installed on the server that will allow me to craft any custom mob I want. And this is going to be insane! So, Cardi, are you ready to start the mob battle? Yes, Murky, I am! Let's go! Alright, then let the mob battle begin! And now that the battle has officially begun, we can start cheating with our insane one-way glass wall, and we can just craft way better mobs. But before we do any of that, let's just see what Cardi is gonna spawn in. And it looks like Cardi has some items in his hands, so he's holding, like, a water bottle, and is that a shell or something? Wait, I kinda wanna see where Cardi is gonna drop this stuff, because I wanna see if I can figure out what he's gonna try and spot in and i mean he is putting down some water so it could be like some cool water based mob but it would have to be kind of ancient because of those shells i think they look pretty old but i think cordy should be done crafting that in so now all he has to do is go over to his lever and flick it to see what that crafting recipe will turn into but let's just see what it turns into and he's flicking it and what on earth did that spot in that is an ancient water dinosaur okay that that thing looks pretty insane first off. And normally I would be a little bit worried of that. But all we gotta do is head over to our crafting table and think what can we craft that is gonna be able to counter that. And remember, we can use literally any material that we want on this crafting table. So let's think, what kind of items would actually be able to defeat a water mob? Well, first off, we'd probably want some lava based item. Cause you know, lava obviously beats water. It kind of turns it into stone too. But we don't want some normal lava. I feel like we want something more like a weapon. Maybe like some lava ocean dynamite. So let's grab some of that and that's gonna be good. So let's just put two lava ocean dynamites like that. Then for the body of our mob, we actually need a block. So why don't we get some magma blocks and just place them down like this. And I feel like our mob needs to be really strong. So what kind of strength could we give our mob? What would be cool? Maybe like a turtle helmet? I don't even know what this will turn into. But let's just see i'm gonna drop that right here and i think this is gonna be our crafting recipe so we got our magma we got our turtle shell and then we have our lava dynamites as the weapons so that might actually be a really good crafting recipe but now all we gotta do is come down to our lever over here and flick it a bunch and i wonder what it turned into and whoa look at that that is exactly what i wanted to spot in and this thing is probably gonna be really cool do you see that the shell that it has on i guess that is like the magma blocks and the turtle shell we put on and then this is the lava mob so it's probably gonna have some insane lava attacks and that definitely looks a lot stronger than cardi's mob but now that we have this insane mob i guess we are ready for the mob battle in this first round it's literally gonna be a lava versus water mob battle so you know what cardi are you ready to drop the walls yes i am smirky and i'm just gonna say one thing my mob is so much bigger than yours so much bigger than my Okay, well, bigger doesn't necessarily mean better, Cardi, because my mob is actually gonna be really strong and really tough to defeat. Smirky, your mob is gonna be hard to defeat. I do not think so. Uh, you know what? We'll just see when we drop the walls in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's drop the walls. And now the mob battle has officially begun. And what is this? Is this some kind of like water dinosaur? What on earth? Yes, it is, Smirky. I spotted the most ancient prehistoric monster ever. Whoa, that is so cool. Well, I also did something pretty prehistoric, cause look at my mob. It's a lava turtle, I think. Wait, a giant lava turtle? This thing is massive and wait a second. Lava is the exact counter to my water mob. Whoa, that is a really weird coincidence, but, um, Cardi, I think my mob is about to do some insane attacks. I hope so, at least. And Smirky, look at the floor under my thing there's a bunch of lava and wait, a bunch of TNT is coming out or something. And what happened, Cardi? Oh, is, is that its attacks? Does it literally do some kind of volcanic eruptions? Yes, I think it does, Smirky, and I think it's doing like a victory celebration. Look at all the volcanic eruptions. I think so, Cardi, and it's literally just destroying everything. The crafting table is gone now. Oh my gosh, you won that so fast. Yeah, I did. And Cardi, I think you need to craft a better mob next time, and I kind of want to do a challenge. 
challenge. Okay, Smirky, I'll craft a way better mob, but what challenge you want to do? For a bonus point, let's try and see who can spawn in the bigger mob. The bigger mob. Okay, I'm definitely gonna win. All right, Cardi. Well, let's reset the arena. And now we are on to the second round. But don't leave because this is about to be insane. Me and Cardi are gonna see who can spawn in the bigger mob. And I'm just gonna tell you right now, I have a secret mob that I don't think any of us have ever spawned in before. And I'm gonna show you how to craft it. But first, let's see what Cardi is gonna spawn in. So now let's see what Cardi is gonna spawn in. I think he's holding some items right now. I kind of want to see what this turns into. So he popped out some kind of like ray gun thing and now he's dropping some purple armor. Okay, well, I don't know how this is going to turn into something giant, but let's just see what it turns into. So he has all his armor and a zombie spawning and then a shrink ray and another shrink ray and another shrink ray. Okay, uh, that might be a little bit dangerous because if you don't know, shrink rays are actually really good and they can make any small mob like Cardi huge. So that might be really bad for me. But I think Cardi's about to flip the lever and let's see what it turns into. And he's flipping it. And what did this turn into? Is that a giant zombie soldier? That guy looks pretty giant. And I think I can spawn in a better mob and something that is going to be able to definitely kill it. So the thing with this zombie is it kind of has a close range weapon, I think. So what if we made something giant that could also fly? So we need to think what we could spawn in. So let's head over to our crafting table and think what we can spawn in. Well, a mob that could fly is like a phantom. And phantoms are really annoying. So what if we got some like phantom stuff and placed them down right here? And those are basically like phantom fish or something like that. But phantoms aren't really that scary because I kind of want to spook Cordy's mob out a little bit. So we have the flying factor down and what kind of block would make it scary? Well, what about some nightmare scales? That sounds scary. It literally has nightmare in the name. And what kind of sound is that when I place it down? That sounds weird. But now that we have all this down, we also need to give our mobs some weapons. So I have an idea. What if we grab some ninja katanas and gave it this? So let's put one right here and one right here. So now that we have all this crafted in, what we should be able to spawn is like a scary phantom with some really strong attacks. And I'm kind of curious what this will turn into. So you know what? Let's just head over to our lever and flick it. And let's go and see what this turned into. And this is huge. This is literally bigger than the entire arena and i think i'm gonna get a bonus point for this and cordy um i'm just wondering right now do you see my mob's tail poking on your side what is that that thing is massive cordy i'm just gonna ask you right now did you spawn in a bigger mob than me i don't think so i thought mine was really big but then i can see yours kind of poking through the wall and yours is definitely bigger and i'm gonna tell you right now cordy that is literally just its tail and i'm gonna tell you right now this guy is probably gonna have some in insane attacks because of how powerful I made it. I literally gave it nightmare powers and the powers of katanas. What? Why did you give it such OP powers? I just gave my guys some armor. Oh my gosh, Cordy. Well, you're gonna have to prepare to be defeated in a second because I'm gonna drop the walls in 3, 2, 1. And let's drop the walls and let's go. Cardi, what on earth did you spawn in? Smirky, I spawned in a giant with a massive gun. Whoa, is that a freaking Ray gun is that's literally the gun's name, Cardi. I know this is insane. And I think my phantom can literally drop bombs on your guy. And where did your guy go, Cardi? Smirky, I think my mom died. And why is the arena turning to wither and soul sand? Cardi, I think that is because it's part of my mom's powers. My mom literally has the most nightmare powers ever. And I guess that means it can literally do like wither attacks. I guess so. And it's still blowing stuff up. Your mom is just insane. I know it is. And it is kind of literally bigger than the entire arena with its wings, Cardi. You're right, Smirky. It even has massive green teeth. This is scary. I know, Cardi. You know what? I'm gonna reset the arena because look how destroyed it is. And trust me, the battles are only gonna get way worse than this for you, Cardi. All right, I'm ready. And it is now the third round of the mob battle. And remember what I 
said the battles are only gonna get way worse for Cardi, so don't leave because we are gonna do some insane stuff. But anyways, now let's just go and see what Cardi is gonna try and craft. And it looks like Cardi is starting to build something, and he's placing down a lot of redstone. And what is he holding? He's holding like some kind of like armor or something, or is that some kind of like mech suit? I have no idea what he is trying to spawn in, but it must be some kind of machine because he's putting down a lot of redstone. But is that done now? Because he filled up all of the nine slots. And Cordy is kind of heading over to the lever. Let's just see what this turns into. And he is flicking it. And what did that spawn in? That is a giant robot Godzilla. Okay, that is a very strong boss. And that can do some very insane attacks. And that is not a good thing for me. Now, normally, I would be a little bit worried that I'm gonna kind of lose this entire mob battle. But trust me, I'm not that guy, and I am gonna win. So we need to think, what kind of thing can, like, shut down that robot? Because I feel like that might be the only way we can kill it. You know what? Let's think of something. So what's a way we can turn off some redstone? I mean, is there any kind of redstone items we could grab? Maybe, like, TNT or something? I don't think that's a very strong explosion. I have an idea, but it's not something in the creative redstone menu. What we have to do is type slash give smirky command block, and now we have a command block. And with this command block, we should be able to turn off all the redstone. So let's just place one of these down here. And now we want some explosion attacks. So what we're gonna do is grab some end crystals and obsidian. And then to make some really strong armor, we're just gonna grab some crystal blocks just because they look cool. And now we are gonna place down all the rest of these blocks like this, this, and this. And there we go. Now we have this crafting recipe done. And this should make a very strong boss with really strong attacks. So anyways, we should probably head over to the lever and see what we get when we flick it like this and let's go hopefully this spawn in something huge and wow look at this mob it's literally made out of crystals and it has a command block in it so this guy is probably really strong and it sounds really kind of creepy but it should be able to literally just turn off this robot and i wonder what kind of explosion attacks it can do probably some really cool stuff because this does look pretty robotic but now that our mobs are ready we should probably ask Cordy if he's ready too. And Cordy, is your mob army ready? Because I'm just gonna let you know, I probably spawned in a better robot than you. And wait, I probably should have not said that. Smirky, how do you know I have a robot? Um, Cordy, uh, I can just hear the robot noises on your side. Y you know what? Just forget it, Cordy. But is your mob army ready? Yes, it is. Let's drop the walls. All right, then let's drop the walls in three, two, one. And let's go and look at that. That is a giant robot Godzilla versus my robot mob. What is your robot mob? This thing is like twice the size. I know it is, Cardi, but it is taking a lot of damage. But Cardi, it looks like my mob literally regens to full health. What on earth is happening? Is it about to charge up an attack? I think it is, Smirky. And uh, hopefully you do an attack soon. Come on. And yes, its explosion powers are working. The power of the end crystals is actually doing stuff. Why is there so much lightning? What? Oh my gosh. Hey, Cordy, your mom is actually starting to take damage and it's flying up in the air. What is happening? This is insane. Your mom's attacks are so powerful and wait. No way. It literally fell off the arena from the knockback. I don't think my mom can literally take any knockback, Cardi. I know it is just chilling on this grass having a good time because he just won the mob battle. And whoa, that's crazy. I I think it malfunctioned your robot because it's down there just taking damage right now. Oh my gosh, my robot. I thought he was going to win, but I guess not. But how did my robot malfunction? Well, Cardi, I want you to take a close look at my mob and see what kind of block that is on it. Wait, there's a command block on this. And you know what you can do with that? You can like type commands on it and make stuff to insane attacks. You're exactly right. And you can even shut down redstone, which I think you used redstone to build yours. Yeah, I did. All right. Well, you know what? Let's reset the arena. And it is clear I won that round. So now we are on to the third round of the mob battle. And as you know, as 
the rounds get later in mob battles, we are gonna start spawning in way better mobs. Well, this time we are spawning in bad mobs. I'm just kidding. We're gonna spawn in some insane stuff. But anyways, let's see what Cardi is gonna spawn in. And it looks like he's holding a Medusa head. Okay, that is horrible for us because as you know, Medusas can literally turn any mob to stone. And I think we need to think of a way we can counter that. But I wonder what he's gonna craft with that because hopefully it doesn't turn into Medusa. So he's dropping the head and he's also dropping like poison there and is that the crafting recipe okay uh that probably is gonna spawn in medusa but let's just see what happens when he flicks it and he is flicking it and what on earth did that turn into that is a giant medusa which probably means that it can turn a mob of any size into stone that is pretty bad that is actually not pretty bad that is really bad but we need to think of a mob that we can spawn in that can basically like set up blocks to get rid of that thing's eyesight and we need to figure out what can kill it but i have an idea so what if we grab this block called flute on and then we also grab a crown and i'm gonna show you what this is gonna spawn in so we're gonna put the crown right there and we are gonna surround the rest of the crafting table with this block and now we have our crafting recipe done and basically i already know what this is gonna turn into but i've been saving this mob because it is really good it can spawn in a lot of blocks but you know what let's just come down here and flick the lever to see what this turns into now and let's go hopefully it spawned in my mob and whoa it definitely did spawn in my mob and this is gonna be able to definitely counter Bacardi's medusa mob because this guy actually has an insane attack and his attack basically can turn the entire arena into blocks called plutonium and it should be able to literally block lock this guy's eyesight off but anyways let's just ask cardi if he's ready for the mob battle and cardi are you ready for the mob battle yes i am smirky and you will not believe the mob i have uh okay well i'm gonna tell you right now my mob is an insane mob and it will definitely be able to win we'll see about that because i'm pretty sure it will actually turn the stone oh uh, okay so you spawned in medusa cardi why did you even tell me that wait how did you know how did you even get that from turning to stone well i guess it kind of makes sense Sense. Yeah, it does definitely make sense. But Cardi, the counter for that Medusa mob is blocks placing in front of it, right? Wait, how did you know that, Smirky? That will blind it. Uh, yep, that is exactly what that's gonna do. And you know what, Cardi? I'm just ready to drop the walls. Let's drop them in three, two, one. And let's go! And yes, it's actually doing it, Cardi. It's placing a wall of plutonium in front of it. Wait, what? How is it doing this? My Medusa's not gonna be able to turn your thing to stone. And Cardi, I don't think my mom is gonna be able to die at all and it will soon kill your Medusa mob. Wait, it's surrounding it in this pink stuff. Oh, wait, that is actually gonna be really bad if it encases it all in the pink stuff because it should just kill your mob because this is literally poisonous. Come on, Mr. Medusa, you could get out of here and I don't think that they're gonna be able to get out of here. They definitely won't be able to get out of here and my Fluto Queen can literally get in this and start doing some insane damage. Hey, Cardi, I wonder if your Medusa is even a alive in here and i can't really see it i think it is because i hear it smacky i think it is still alive but it's probably taking a bunch of damage that is horrible and come on fluto queen start doing some more attacks we need to kill medusa quickly i need to open this up and let my medusa out smirky okay well i guess you can do that because my thing will literally surround it in blocks it. yeah it is still alive but it is not gonna kill my mob cardi it's still alive and wait it's just getting encased in the blocks again there is nothing i can do there is literally zero things you can do, and I've encased it in the blocks. Now, what the heck? Oh, my gosh. Come on. Oh, I, I think my Medusa's gonna die. And, Cordy, I don't think it's dead, because I don't hear it in here at all. Smirky, it's definitely dead. Wait, let me explode all of this, and look, it's not there. Yeah, it's literally gone. Wait, maybe you exploded it with that dynamite, Cordy. I don't know, Smirky. I think your mom just killed it, because your mom is so powerful. Yeah. Yeah, this mob is kind of insane. You know what? Let's reset the arena because I want to craft something really good. And so now we are on to the final round. And Cardi, before I do anything, can you give me a hint of what you're going to spawn in maybe? Okay, fine. I'll give you a hint, Smirky. And I'm going to make it out of the strongest ore that you have never seen before. The strongest ore that I've never seen before? Well, what does that mean? 
is that like netherite before? Because netherite's pretty rare. I haven't really seen that. Sparky, this is so much more powerful than netherite. This is literally a super OPR. What? And what are you going to craft with that, Cardi? Sparky, I'm going to make a crazy golem. Oh, no, that is not a good thing. You know what? Uh, are you going to spawn it in soon? Yes, I am. I'm going to flip this lever in three, two, one. And what on earth did you spawn in, Cardi? Because I hear you flipping the lever. It definitely worked. And it spawned in a crazy golem. And you have no idea what it looks like. Okay, Cardi, can you hear me right now? But I think that is an enderite golem. Okay, that is probably stronger than the netherite monstrosity, if you know what that is. But if you don't, you can literally find it in pretty much any other video. Because it is so strong. So that is probably a lot stronger. But anyways, I feel like I should craft a mob that I can definitely counter that. And let's get to making it. And so we also need a block that has never been seen before. So I am going to type a command to give myself it. And we are going to give myself a block that can make anything happen. Which is called a structure block. And this is basically unobtainable in the creative menu because of how good it is. And what we're going to grab now is we are going to get some eyes to make this mob. So we're going to place one here, 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 and around the whole crafting table. And now that we have the crafting recipe ready, I guess we're going to come down here and activate it. And hopefully this makes what I want. And I'm thinking it's going to do something really good. And I think it spotted it. And this is the mesmerizer. Basically, this mob can make literally anything happen. And I feel like this is the only way that we can defeat Cardi's mob. Because this guy is actually going to be so good. But Cardi, are you ready to drop the walls? Because I think um, my mob is definitely ready. Yes, I am ready, Smirky. All right, well, in that case, let's drop them now. And let's go. And Cardi, I think your mob is going to die soon because this guy is literally preparing his attacks. Oh my gosh, this thing is crazy. And wait, there's a bunch of weird stuff happening. Why are there like rainbow TNTs everywhere and then like random snow blocks? What is happening, Cardi? What? Is this your mom's attacks? Cardi, I think it is my mom's attacks. It can literally do anything like I said. Smirky, I think my mom's taking a bunch of damage. And do you see what's happening? It's literally spawning in a bunch of houses. What? What? This mob is so random. It just has the most random attacks ever. I know it is, Cardi. It can do like anything it wants. This is crazy. Come on, Mr. Golem. You can win. And there's like a thousand meteors hitting him. I don't think this will win, Cardi. It's only a matter of time before it dies. There is lightning, rainbow blocks, and everything. I've never seen something more crazy. I know, Cardi. And everything around it is exploding. I think it's gonna die! And Cardi, it is definitely dead. Now it flopped on the ground. Come on, where are you? No way it died. And I, I think it might have died. Cardi, it used its structure block. It spawned in so many things. Wait, you used a structure block to create this? Yep, it is a never seen before block. And it's more rare than command blocks. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you used that. And I think that means I win because your mom is not alive. But wait, Smirky, before we end the mob battle, what is this? Um, Cardi, I should probably tell you something. This is one-way glass, and I was using it during the mob battle. You were cheating with one-way glass? Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, Cardi. Smirky, I do not forgive you. You better give me the win, or else I'll be very mad. You know what? Fine. You can have the win. Let's go. That was really fun. If you enjoyed this Smirky and Cardi video, remember to like and subscribe, and make sure you click on the video on the screen. It is my best one yet. Bye. Bye. Today, I'm doing a Minecraft mob battle with my friend, but I can mix anything to get a mob. I have a mod installed on the server that'll allow me to mix any item I want, and this is going to be insane. So, Cardi, are you ready to start the mob battle? Yes, Smirky, I am. All right, then let the mob battle begin. And now that the battle has officially started, I am about to cheat using my one-way glass wall I set up to see what kind of items Cardi is going to try and mix together. And remember, with this mob, we can literally mix anything. And that means blocks, items, and even mobs. So we can actually have some crazy, crazy, crazy combinations this time. But anyways, let's see what Cardi's going to do first. And it looks like Cardi is breaking the glass to 
go and actually spotted his mob. So the first thing he wants to mix is a zombie. And now he's going over here to break the other glass and he's dropping a pitchfork in it. What is this going to combine into? Well, I guess now that we have to see what this is going to combine into because Cardi has to actually activate both lights to make this actually merge to two items. So I'm kind of curious what it's going to turn into. And he activated the Bovan. Yeah. And what on earth did this turn into? This is like a zombie with a pitchfork and a pot on its head. I am very confused what that is, but it looks really weird. Is that supposed to be a shield? I mean, that literally looks like a door. I'm a little bit confused what that is, and and I think Cardi is making a whole army of them. I'm so confused. Well, I guess that is kind of cool, but I have an idea of how we can get a perfect counter for this mob. But instead of getting a mob that's really OP, I feel like I should just pick a random mob and see what it turns into because uh, Cardi did something really weak with just a zombie. But I'll explain how the counter is going to work. So these zombies are holding like metal objects. So what if we got like a lightning based mob and let's just grab two lightning things. Which one of them is going to be this lightning wand and the other is going to be this bottle of lightning which when you drop it on the ground it literally electrocutes you. Well now that we have these two electric based weapons what we're going to grab is a random mob. So I guess we'll just scroll in the creative inventory until we find one and I'm closing my eyes. Let me just pick this. And I think it says this is a grizzly bear. Okay, I'm super confused what all three of these items are going to turn into. Well, I guess now we'll just head over to our transfer tubes and then we are going to put them in here. So goodbye, Mr. Grizzly Bear. You are going to be mixed into a mob. So let's close this off. And now I guess in this tube, we'll just drop these two electric items in here and see what it turns into. So I guess now we'll activate this and now we'll activate this. And what did this turn into? Wait, is that literally a wizard bear? What the heck? And look at him. He literally has a beard. What kind of bear is this? Well, I guess this is really cool and it should have some electric powers. You know, let's just go and push you over to those mobs and I feel like we should spawn in a lot more of you because this actually might be pretty cool. And what did this turn into? Well, I don't see any bear here, so I wonder if it was just impossible to mix. Maybe it's behind me and oh, 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 what on earth is that is that literally a wizard bear what on earth that is so cool it literally has a wizard hat and it has a beard what did i accidentally make okay well that is a really cool mob and i wonder what all kind of attacks this guy can do well before we see what kind of attacks this can do i guess we have to drop the walls so you know what let's just ask cordy if he's also ready to drop the walls and cordy are are you ready to go on to the first round of our mob battle and drop the walls? Yes, I am, Shrek, and I have a crazy army. A crazy army? Well, I'm ready to show you my crazy army, and I'm just gonna tell you right now, I only spawn in one mob. You only spawn in one mob? Well, then I'm about to totally win. Uh, Cardi, I don't think you are. Anyways, let's drop them now! And let's go in! What kind of mobs did you spawn in? What are these guys, Cardi? These are zombies with Pitchforks and doors! Whoa, that's really cool, but Cardi, I want you to take a look at what I spawned in. And look at it! It is a giant wizard bear! Smarky, what is this? This is a bear with a beard! Yeah, I know. Well, it can do some crazy attacks in, bear. Come on. Don't let me down. Better have something that is so crazy. Come on! And it's uh, flying up in there. Wait, what is this bear gonna do? <laughs> what? He's flying smart guy, but he's gonna fall too. And wait, is he gonna die of fall damage? Well, I hope not. That would suck it. Wait, it's literally just going back down. That is so cool. Oh my gosh, and it was going down super slow, so it didn't take any fall damage. Wait, so it can control its flight, but I made sure it... I gave my mom some kind of power, so I wonder if it'll do it. And my mom's flying back up. Come on, look at the mobs and do an insane attack. And whoa, look at that. They're all dying, and that is actually insane. Cordy, what, what on earth is happening? Did you see that too? Smirky, your wizard bear just made a bunch of lightning strikes. Strike all my zombies. Yeah, it did. And you literally have one zombie all the way over here just uh, hiding from my bear. Yeah, I would hide from that bear too if I saw him. I know, Smirky, but wait, this one's getting struck by lightning too. Wait, the bear can do stuff from all the way over there? Oh, oh my gosh. This 
guy is gonna die any second. Man, no, Smirky, look, it is so low on health, and it just died. Let's go. Go! Yes, my bear did not let me down, and it did the exact thing I wanted it to. Wait, Cordy, that gives me an idea, because now I can literally know that I can combine anything to make anything I want, because I did not expect that to actually work. Well, Smokey, I can combine anything too, and I'm gonna totally destroy you. Okay, Cordy, you are not gonna destroy me. Let's just reset the arena. And now we are on to the second round of the mob battle, but do not leave, because we are about to do some insane stuff and i think cardi is already spawning in his stuff and what well, he just made a mob tiny in there and what is she doing right now so he has some giant water mob and he's putting me in a tube what is cardi trying to accomplish with this well i guess we'll just see what it turns into and i think cardi's flipping the levers and what on earth did that turn into? That literally just made a water person. <laughs> what? That is actually so cool. But can it even do anything? What kind of attacks does this guy have? Well, I guess Cordy's just looking at it right now. And it should be pretty strong because it was kind of made out of me, right? And I think that would be pretty strong. But look at what it's doing to Cordy. It's literally chasing him right now. Okay, well, that's kind of cool. But I have an idea for a counter for this. So as you guys know, so water really does not like electricity. So why don't we go again with a different electric mob and try and make something really, really strong. And I'll show you what I have in mind. So let's head over to our tube and open them to put our mobs in and the first thing i want to put in is not a mob but it is actually a lightning tnt and that is because when a lightning tnt is activated look at what it does let's just activate one to show you it literally is insanely powerful so why don't we just activate one of these in the machines to see what it turns into so we got that in there but now let's also add something that's even more powerful and a different counter for this water thing is literally a thing called the sun and that's because uh the sun can evaporate water anyways so let's just spawn in a miniature sun in here and uh that is not miniature so let's make it miniature like that and before it explodes everything let's just flick the levers like this and what did it turn into well it's not here and remember last time it was literally behind me so hopefully it's behind me and what on earth is this thing is this like a sun but electric whoa this guy is cool and look at that that is is literally electricity attacks okay that is kind of really cool and it is just a giant electric sun okay well i guess i am ready now and i think cardi should be ready and before we drop the walls i'm gonna ask cardi if he is ready and hey, cardi is your army ready because hopefully you did not spawn in a very small army well smirky i spawned in a crazy boss a crazy boss and you didn't say bosses so i guess you spawned in one right cardi Yep, I only spawned in one. Well, Cardi, I'm just gonna warn you right now. You should probably spawn in more than one. Oh, okay, Smirk. If you say so, I'll do that right now. And, uh, you're spawning in a lot because I can hear them spawning in, and that's the only way I know, right? Uh, I guess so. Well, anyways, Cordy, are you ready to drop the walls? Let's go! Let's drop them now! And let's go! And what on earth is happening, Cordy? There is so much lightning! And Cordy, so much stuff is happening. What is going on? There's crazy lightning attacks and a bunch of water attacks from my mob. What is this? And I'm literally getting electrocuted. Rock attack, man. Don't attack me. And Cordy. Oh my your mobs are literally flooding the entire arena. I know they are, but did you know that when the lightning goes in the water, it will do even more damage to my water mobs? Uh, yeah, I think it's doing a lot of damage, Shorty, because it's literally breaking through the bedrock. Oh my gosh, this is insane. <laughs> yeah, I know it's insane, but your guys are blending in with the water. It's making it kind of hard for my electric mob to know where to attack them. I know, Smirky, but there's still so much lightning everywhere. Yeah, I know there is. Is. And Cordy, I think a lot of them are slowly taking damage because uh, that's just what I see. And do you think it's because the lightning is literally traveling through the water? I think so, Smirky. It does so much more damage when it goes through the water. Yeah, I know. It's a little bit crazy and everything's dying except my electric head. I know it still has half its health and my mobs are all about to die. Yeah, I know. This is crazy. It's literally making some of them float. And wait, they're all about to die. And I think that is the last one. Yes. 
I no, want. Look, no, look at the top of the screen. Your mob is the last one standing. And it only got down to half health, Cordy. That means that this guy is literally insane. I hate this, Sparky, but I need to win the next round, so let's go. All right, Cordy, let's go. And now we are on to the third round of the mob battle, but do not leave because as you've seen so far, the mobs are only gonna get more insane. And now for this round, we're gonna try out something new and I hope Cardi does too because you know, he does need to spawn in some good stuff. And what is he doing? He's literally spawning in like some kind of snow monster in there or is that a snow monster? That's like snow particles. And then in there, he's spawning in a snow golem. So it must be something snow related, but I'm kind of curious about what this is gonna turn into well i guess we'll see when he flicks the levers and he flicked it and what on earth did that turn into that is like some giant snowman but it has some insane weapons okay that must mean that this guy is pretty good because look how big its weapons are and wait let me ask cordy what kind of mob he spawned in and let me ask him to make sure that these weapons are actually as good as they look uh cordy how's your army going mark it's going amazing i spotted this crazy snow golem and wait i probably shouldn't have told you a snow golem well snow golems only can throw snow so hopefully your snow golem has a better attack than that right definitely does it has these super duper op ice mallets Super duper OP ice mallets. Are you kidding me? There is no way they're OP. Are you sure they're OP? I'm 100% certain. Oh no. Okay. Well, I'm going to get to spawning in my mob and hopefully I can make something OP as well. And so now we are back on our side and let's think of something OP that we can do. Well, for one, uh, I feel like we should make a mob that can defeat this guy. And what is the way that we can defeat it? Well, fire obviously beats snow, so we could melt the snow but there is another way that you can melt snow that i bet you didn't know well if you use water you can actually melt snow and wait if we heat up water at the same time it should melt the snow even faster so wait why don't we just go and put like snow and like lava in this tube and see what kind of mob it turns into so for the lava block we'll put a piece of magma blocks like that and then in here we'll place an ice core monster in here so now we have an ice and fire mob and then we can just combine this to see what it'll turn into and i'm kind of curious what this is gonna be because i hope it is something really good because i feel like this is kind of impossible but as you've seen from this video so far we kind of have been doing the impossible so i bet this will turn into something really cool but i guess we'll just flick this and come over here and flick this and what did this turn into? So it's obviously behind me because it's not here. And what is this? This is literally like ice and fire. Okay. Well, this is a really, really cool mob because as you see, it's kind of doing the impossible right now. I feel like this guy should be melting, but what kind of attacks can this guy do? Well, I guess we'll place down a mob to see what happens. So for something really strong to test this guy out on, let's just place out a lot of iron golems and see what happens. And wait, look at this. It's literally dropping ice on them. Well, hopefully they have a fire attack too, because we are going to need that. And what on earth is happening? Are these iron golems even alive anymore? They definitely do have a fire attack, because uh, look at my arena. And I don't think they're alive anymore, because they aren't doing any damage. What is happening? And look at all the ice placed everywhere. Wow. That is actually insane, but I think our mob is definitely very, very strong. And this is definitely a very new OP monster that we have found. So I guess now we are ready to do the mob battle and we'll ask Cordy if he is too. And Cordy, are you ready to drop the walls? Cause I think my guys are kind of already attacking your mob. Yes, I am ready, Smokey. Let's drop them. All right, and you better spot it way more before I drop it. I'm gonna give you three seconds. Go, 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 spot it more. Oh my gosh. And now I am dropping it, Cardi. You better watch out. Wait, what did you spawn in? Uh, Cardi, I kind of mixed the lava and ice somehow. And then and it made some insane kind of mobs, Cardi, because these guys have like every attack that you could think of. Oh my gosh, I didn't know you could mix fire and ice and it's literally summoning fire tornadoes. I know, and like half the mobs are literally getting pushed off the arena. What is happening? Oh my gosh, my snowmen are all falling down. Yeah, that is kind of crazy and everything's dying. Come on, Snowman, you can totally still win, but there's only like three left. I know, Cardi, it's kind of 
insane. Come on, kill all the snowmen. Come on, but wait, there's just more fire tornadoes spotting. And how much there are even fire tornadoes? That doesn't make any sense. I know it. Then there's like ice and magma platforms, but almost all the mobs are flying off the arena. Get out of here. And Smirky, I started with like 10 of my snow golems and there's only two left now. I know, but there's like no more of my mobs left too. Everything's like down there fighting. Well, Smirky, since everything's down there, whoever has the last mob on the arena wins. And Cardi, if you did not have said that, I would have won. And Cardi, wait, it's a good thing you said that because look at what I have on the arena. Wait, you are the only one with a mob on the arena in mine. Oh, oh my gosh, Smirky, mine fell off. <laughs> Cardi, that was so unlucky. You should have looked at the arena before you said that because I I have the one last mob here. Dang it. I guess you won that smirky GG. Let's just reset the arena because we have some insane combinations to get to. And now we are on to the next round of the mob battle. And now let's see what Cordy is going to spawn in. And make sure you don't leave because we are about to do some insane combinations. And what is Cordy spawning in? And look at that. That is literally like some emperor skeleton. And what is Cordy putting on this side? That is like some big baby skeleton with like dynamite on it what is this gonna turn into well i guess we'll have to see when cardi flips it and and what on earth did that turn into is that some very very strong skeleton wait that actually looks really cool but i wonder if cardi's gonna spawn in more of them now that he has that mob because that looks so strong and i was right i probably should not have said that because now cardi is doing exactly that well i guess we'll have to make a really strong mob in return and i have a pretty Pretty good idea. So let's get on to it. So the first thing we're gonna put in here is a mob called the Plobo, which is basically which is basically an electric robotic creeper. So you know that's really cool. But now what we're gonna put in this side is a mob called the Driver, which is basically like some spaceman with a gun. And these two things are similar heights, and they should combine into a really cool mob. So uh, let's just see what it turns into with this and this and what did this turn into this is some giant mob and they're already shooting at cardi's mobs wait what and they're killing them already uh cardi are you ready to drop the walls because i think the fight is beginning already well yes i am ready all right then let's go and drop the walls what are these things you spawned in? Cardi, these are giant mech robots and they can literally drop missiles on your mobs, I think. Gosh, I can summon missiles. My skeletons don't stand a chance. Yeah, Cardi, they definitely do not stand a chance because of the attacks they can do. Come on, skeletons. I know you're much smaller, but you can win it. They're all dying. Cardi, you literally have three more left and you have like 20 of these guys. Oh my gosh. I mean, I thought these guys were big, but compared to yours, they are so so small. And Cardi, that might have been literally one of the top 10 fastest rounds ever because all of them are dead now, unless some of them are all, like on the floor or something. No, Smirky, I think all the mobs are dead and let's just move on to the final round. All right, well, you better clutch up because I have faith that you will do one of the best mobs ever, right? Yes, I will. All right, then let's go and reset the arena now. And now we are on to the final round, but make sure you don't leave because we are about to do some insane stuff and let's see what Cordy is doing and I think he's already spawning stuff in and that's like some rainbow space block and oh what what on earth is that Cordy uh before you mix your mobs can you tell me what you're doing yes I can Smirky I am doing two insane blocks and I'm gonna mix them to make a mob uh what what kind of blocks are you doing is it some cool blocks or what kind of blocks like dirt and uh poop block Smirky I'm not using dirt and a poop block I'm doing a rainbow block and a cosmic beacon. Well, uh, I have no idea what that's gonna turn into, but uh, please don't make it be good. Well, I hope it is gonna be good. I'm gonna flip the lever. And what did you spawn in, Curdy? I hear some crazy noises on your side, and I only hear them. Marky, I guess I'll just tell you because I'm a cosmic fiend. What? Why did you spawn in a cosmic fiend? Well, I guess now I'm gonna spawn in something way better. Let me go and do that. So what we're gonna spawn in is we have to use something stronger than space which is probably the void and because that's because you literally can't avoid dying from it so let's get some void stuff and i guess the, the first thing we're gonna get 
It's a literal void block, and, uh, that is a really weird-looking block. And then, I guess we're just gonna put in some really strong monster in this other one, which is gonna be something called the Iclops. And, uh, let's just see what this turns into, and I guess we'll just flip it and hope it turns into something good. So let's go and flip. And what did it turn into, and what is that? Is that, like, a void monster? Um, Cardi, are you ready to drop the walls? Because I think you're gonna die. In a second. What do you mean, Sparky? Let's drop them and I'm gonna win. Um, okay, Cardi, let's set it to air now. And uh, look at your mom. It looks tiny compared to mine. Wait, what did you spot at, Sparky? Uh, Cardi, I spotted the Void Master. It is literally the master of the Void. And I guess I didn't realize I spawned this mob. But now so much random stuff is happening. I know there's tons of crazy attacks. I know, and your cosmic feet is taking damage, but my guy is not taking any damage. How is your guy not taking damage? I thought the Cosmic Fiend was the best boss in Minecraft. Uh, it might not be because this thing is just killing it. And Cardi, so much random like TNTs are exploding. What is happening? Are you doing this or what? what is happening? This is not me, Smarky. This is your mob. What? Wait, that's so cool. And Cardi, I think your Cosmic Fiend is slowly taking a lot of damage because it might have the void effect. And yeah, Smarky, look at how much health it's losing so fast. Whoa! Okay, it's only a matter of time before it dies, Cardi, and it's not gonna be able to kill the Void Master because, uh, you've seen what itself is like. It hasn't lost a single tick. I know. How is your thing not lost any health? I guess it's that OP. I know. And come on, Cosmic Fiend, die sooner. I guess you could die in, like, an hour because it is not gonna kill the Void Master. No, Mr. Cosmic Fiend, in your last life, you have to kill this thing. No, I don't think it will. And, Cardi, I think it it happened finally look at that it like it literally died and dropped all its loot somewhere i've never seen a cosmic feed die in my life yeah cardi and i think it's because i literally completely destroyed your mob and i've never seen a cosmic feed not do damage before i know you spotted a crazy thing i guess good job for winning all right cardi well it is clear that i won and you want to know how wait how did you win well it was using a block called one-way glass and i was able to see on your side wait what you were cheating with this the whole time yeah i was cheating i'm sorry you know what i'll give you the win just because i was cheating let's go i won yep well if you enjoyed this cordy smirky mob battle remember to subscribe and do it now bye subscribe today i'm doing a minecraft mob battle with my oh. friend but anything i say i get for example if we walk up to our microphone and say a mob like op cosmic monster it will literally spawn in <laughs> and this means we can literally spawn in whatever we want and get the craziest bosses so Cardi, are you ready to start the mob battle yes smirky i am let's go all right then let the mob battle begin and for our first First round, we are just gonna cheat using our one-way glass and see what our friend Cardi is gonna spawn in. And look at that! That is an insane jungle abomination boss. Now, normally, I would be a little bit scared of this, but luckily for me, since we are cheating, all we have to do is walk up to our microphone over here and just think of a counter that we can ask this machine for to spawn it in. So, you know what? Since this is a tree monster, why don't we just go up to our microphone over here and ask get to do a lava monster with a giant lava weapon then we flip the lever and now if we come over here look the mob spotted and look at this this is the lava monster with the giant weapon apparently and this guy looks insane it looks like it's some kind of lizard or something but it's not any normal lizard it has this giant lava blaster on top of it so i hope this guy will be doing some insane damage during the mob battle because we need to defeat Cord jungle abomination but anyways i think our first army is ready so let's just ask cordy if he is ready to drop the walls and cordy are you ready to drop the walls to begin the first round of our mob battle yes i am smirky and you will not believe the mob i spawned in uh cordy i won't believe the mob you spawned in well i'm just gonna let you know right now that i 
probably have the counter for it. Just, uh, don't worry what that means. But you have a counter to my mob, Shrekky. I don't think you do. Well, Cardi, you'll just have to see during the mob battle because I would like to bet my entire win on this mob battle that I have a counter. That's just how confident I am. What? Okay, Smirky, I think we need to just drop the walls. Yeah, I think so too. So let's drop them in three, two, one, and let's go. And it looks like I did have a perfect counter because this is the giant lava salamander, Cardi. And look at the attacks it can do. It literally spreads fire everywhere. And your jungle abomination definitely won't stand any chance because of this guy's attacks. He can literally drop meteors. Smirky, these attacks are so insane and tons of meteors are falling. I know there is literally bedrock breaking, but my lava salamander has the best attacks ever. And remember how I said I would literally bet that I could win this mob battle because I had a counter. Yeah, Smirky, I know how you said that and you were right. I know I was right, but it might not be that good for me because it looks like your guys can spawn in minions, but luckily they're literally just grass block kind of minions. Yeah, Smirky, it's minions aren't very good. They're just made out of grass. They're just gonna burn too. I know they're just gonna burn and it looks like they are just burning. This sucks for you. Come on, Mr. Jungle Abomination. No, uh, don't come on. Come on, Mr. Lava Salamander. This guy is the pro and its attacks are literally just so good because it is exploding a lot of stuff. And do you see those meteors that rain down every now and then? Yes, I did. How did you even think of spotting in this crazy boss? Um, uh, Cardi, I just had to say uh, what I thought I wanted to spot in. Just don't worry about it. Wait, that doesn't even make sense, but that is pretty cool, Smirky, and even more meteors are dropping. I know, Cardi. And look up, there's so many meteors. Whoa, it is like the meteor apocalypse, and that is not good for you because it is doing a lot of damage to your jungle abomination, and I don't think it's doing any damage to my salamander, to be honest. There is no way that your thing's about to win, and I think mine's gonna fall off. And it did fall off, Cardi, because now it is now off the arena, and that sucks for you. Oh my gosh, Rocky, I think I've completely lost. I just forfeit at this point. Yeah, you probably should because you only have, like, these grass things walking around now. These are so bad, Smirky. You should just reset the arena and you won the first round. Let's go! And there we go. We won the first round of our mob battle. But do not leave because we have only touched the capabilities of this microphone power because we can say some insane stuff. Off, and I have an idea of what I want to try out for this next round. But before we do that, let's see what Cardi is going to spawn in. And look at that. That is a literal muted guest. Look how huge it is. Okay, that guy is kind of insane. But I want to show you guys how powerful our microphone is. So let me just tell you how I'm going to use this. So we're going to walk up to our microphone once again. And now what we're going to say is microphone. What we want is Cardi's gas, but literally 50 times better. And I think give me some weapons that I control them with. And now all we gotta do is flick the lever. And there we go. And wait, what did it spawn in? Whoa! That is literally Cardi's gas, but 50 times better. And it has some insane armor. I guess that's what makes it better. But I kind of want to see what it dropped on the ground because I did ask it to give me some really good weapons. So I think if we go over here in the middle of where stuff spawns, it literally did give me weapons. And look at this. I got two things. I got an awful gun which yeah, it looks like it just shoots out some fireballs on it. So that's kind of cool. And then I got a thing called a freaking ray gun, which looks like it does insane explosions. Okay, these two things are really cool. But anyways, I think this is some really good stuff we got in. Luckily for us, we can just use this during the battle. And Cardi, is your army ready? Because I think mine is. Yes, it is, Smirky. My army's definitely ready. Let's go. And Cardi, I am just going to warn you, we might have spawned in the same thing because at the top of the screen, I see two boss marks and both of them say gas. So before the round begins, which gas do you think is gonna be better? You probably spotted just a normal tiny gas. Well, I have a giant gas. Uh, really? So you think your gas is gonna be bigger and better? Yes, of course it will be. All right. Well, you guys have to listen up. If Cordy's gas ends up being better and bigger, you have to subscribe to Cordy, but if mine is better, you know what, you guys have to do. But you know what, Cardi? Are you ready for the mob battle? Yes, I am, Smirky. All right, well, in that case, let's drop the wall.
falls in three, two, one. Let's go ahead. Which one ended up being bigger, Cardi? Sparky, yours is way bigger. I think like 10 gas in one. What? But I have no idea which one's better. Yeah, you're right about that. We are just going to have to see. And uh, Cardi can't hear me right now, but we're kind of at a standstill because the gas are kind of looking at each other. Because they got those insane weapons, we are going to help them fight out a little bit and start using them. So come on, shoot it and look at those explosions. Whoa, that is insane. Everything is so laggy, Cardi. Sparky, what is happening? I have no idea, but explosions are coming in and out and in and out. I think our mobs are doing insane attacks. And whoa, look at your gas. It's literally dropping gas tears and making it rain. Well, that isn't very helpful for a nether mob battle. I know, Smirky, but I think your thing might be winning because look at how much health my guy's losing. Yeah, that is kind of crazy. But um, I think yours is about to start losing a lot of health very, very soon. And Cord, can you hear me? Let's shoot this ray gun more. And yes, I think we're doing a little bit of damage because look at the arena. Why is your thing not losing any health though, Smirky? I have no idea. Actually, uh, I do kind of have an idea. It's because my mob is so much better. Oh, I guess it is, Smirky. And once again, you just spotted a way better mob than I did. Yeah, I know. Hey, Cordy, I think your mob is heading over to my mob to do an attack, but it's kind of taking a long time to get there because of how massive this mob battle is. I think it's lagging the world. The world is so laggy, but what is your thing about to do? I have no idea. And wait, Cordy, look up. There's something coming down from the sky. Wait, do you know what that is? Is that your gas attacks or is that mine? That is definitely not mine. And is that a giant meteor? And it's taking so long to get down. Uh-oh, this isn't good. Cordy, what's about to happen? Everything's gonna die. And what is happening? What on earth is this, Cordy? Smirky, this is doing so much damage to my gas. And what? And it died. And do you know which one is left? Smirky, your gas is still standing. And I think it is clear to say I won it. I wonder why it didn't take any damage. Do you think it's because of its armor? I think so, Smirky. I can't believe a gas could even wear armor. Yeah, I didn't know that was possible either. But you know what? It is clear to me I won it. I think it is time to reset the arena. Yeah, let's reset the arena. So now we are on to the third round of the mob battle. And don't leave because I have a funny prank for this round. But anyways, let's see what Cardi is going to spawn in. And we got to make sure we got a better prank for this round because you know what we do. We only increase how truly our pranks are. But anyways, let's see what Cardi's going to spawn in. And it looks like he literally spawned in an ocean god. Now, normally this would worry me a little bit because as you know, this guy is really, really strong. But we can literally just go over to our microphone and tell it what we want to spawn in and we can just get the best counter ever. And I think Cardi's mob is doing a lot of like ocean stuff to the arena and uh, that might not be good for me. So we can't use a fire mob to kill this. But I think we can just go to the microphone and I guess we can just like ask for a perfect counter for this mob. And so as you know, there is one thing that actually gets rid of water 100% of the time and that is the sun. So what if we went over to our microphone right over here and just literally asked it to give us a mob that is something that can, you know, evaporate all of Cardi's water. So let's see what this gives us now. And what is that? That is literally the sun. Okay, this should be able to kill Cardi's mob and I think it definitely will be able to because that is literally the sun and that is kind of exactly what we wanted to spawn in. But Cardi, I think it is kind of destroying the arena too. Um, Cardi, can we just drop the walls right now? Yeah, let's drop the walls. And the walls have dropped. Let's go. And I think your mob is starting to take a little bit of damage, Cardi. And Cardi, look what it did to the arena as well. And I think my son's about to go and evaporate all the water out of your mob. And let's see what happens. How did you spawn an exact counter? It literally made the floor super burnt. I know. And Cardi, it is literally going to kill your mob any second now. I hope it dies soon, to be honest. And I think it will die any second. Cardi, look at that. What, Smirky? That was literally one of the fastest rounds ever. I know, but do you know how it died? How did it die? Wait, is it because it got evaporated? Yep, that is 
exactly why, Cardi. And that is crazy that I just chose the exact counter for your mom. And I guess I'm really lucky and there's no other way that happened. I know you are super lucky. I don't know how you're doing it, but good job, I guess. Thank you. Let's go on to the next round. So now we are on to the fourth round of the mob battle. But don't leave because this is going to be our most insane round yet. And we, are, of course, are going to use our microphone over here to say a really good mob. But before we say a really good mob, let's just see what Cardi is going to spawn in. And look at what he is spawning in. Okay, that thing is literally insane. So you know what we got to do. We just got to think of the most insane thing that we can just say because that is the Cosmic Fiend. If you guys know anything about that Cosmic Fiend, that guy is kind of insane. But anyways, let's head over to our microphone and let's just talk to it. So microphone, I'm gonna need you to come and clutch here. Cardi probably has the best cosmic monster ever. So microphone, I need you to give me the best cosmic void monster. Just cause you know, that is how we can just defeat that thing. Cause I think that's the only way. And please give me something good. I'm gonna flip the microphone now. What? And hopefully we got something good in. What is that noise? And whoa, look at that. That is the void dinosaur. And as you guys know, this thing is kind of insane. I think we can literally fly through it. That is how big this guy is. This guy is massive. I think he could literally eat that cosmic fiend if it wanted to. But this microphone definitely did come in clutch because this is kind of exactly what we needed. This is probably the best void and cosmic monster because, you know, that is a void dinosaur right there. And anyways, I think our mob army is ready. Hey, Cordy, please say your mob army is ready too. And I'm just gonna let you know, you're probably gonna get destroyed. Smirky, there is a 0% chance I lose. Actually, I think there is a negative 100% chance I lose because I'm gonna win. So if there is a negative percent chance I win, Cordy, I'm just gonna say that I am about to do the impossible. And are you ready to see that? Uh, I guess so, Smirky, but you're not gonna do it. Um, okay. Well, just so you guys know, I will 100% do it. But anyways, Cordy, are you ready to drop the walls? Because I'm about to drop them in three, two, one. Let's go. And it looks like you spotted a cosmic feed. And look, it's already taking damage. And Smirky, you're right. It's taking so much damage. And I thought you said there is a negative percent chance I win. And your mom's already at half health, Cordy. Are you kidding me? How am I losing so fast? Cordy, it's because your mom sucks. I thought I would never say that because this is a literal cosmic fiend. But I just thought of what is the best void plus cosmic monster? The two best kind of mobs there are. And that is what I came up with. The best mob ever. That is insane that you came up with this. That is just so crazy. I thought I was going to win. Yeah, you're not about to win, Cardi. And this is insane. It's only a matter of time before my mob kills your mob. And I think your mob is about to die because it's on 200 health. Come on, Mr. Cosmic Feed. You started with 800 health and now you're on 90. And you just said 90 and now he's dead, Cardi. Look at that. That. I think that is probably like the first time I've seen the Cosmic Fiend dead, Cardi. And that's kind of insane to me. Yeah, that is definitely the first time any Cosmic Fiend has ever died. Well, I think we found a new OP monster. And look at that. That is actually so good for me. And you know what, Cardi? I just did the impossible like I said I would. Sparky, we just need to move on to the next round where I'm gonna win. Yeah, you're not about to win. Because, Cardi, you know what the next round is. What is it? The next round is the final round, which means if you lose, you lose the entire mob battle, Cardi. And if I win, I win everything. So you better pick a really, really, really good mob. All right, I will. Let's go. And so now we are on to the final round of the mob battle. But don't leave because I am about to push this thing to its limits. And we are just going to say the best mob we can think of. But anyways, before we do that, let's go and see what Cardi is going to try and spawn it to win this mob battle. And it looks like he literally spawned in some huge dragon. So I wonder what kind of dragon that is. I mean, um, Cordy, could you give me a hint on what kind of mob you spawned in? Just a really, like, easy hint, if you don't mind me asking. Well, Smirky, you want a hint? Well, I'll give you one. I spotted a crazy electric mob. A crazy electric mob. Well, uh, thank you, Cardi. And now I'm gonna go back to spawning in my mob. Oh, okay, so 
Smirky. So now I guess we know what his mob is. So we have a dragon as we can see. And apparently it is an electric dragon. So you know what? We are going to head over to our microphone and we are just going to try and push this thing to its limit. So let's just try and use like every keyword that we can and possibly spawn in the best mob ever. So Mr. Microphone, how about we try spawning in the best legendary deadly cosmic void electricity dragon? I don't even know what else to say. Um, killer insane mob OP boss overpowered mob ever. And I think we hit all the boxes and let's just push this thing and see what spawns in now. And what on earth spawned in? And whoa, look at this thing. Is this the legendary electricity bird that I wanted? Okay, this guy looks kind of cool and he has a literal enchantment thing on him. Okay, this guy, he looks really cool. But Cardi, are you ready for the mob battle? And this is gonna be the mob battle of the century because it is gonna be so insane. Yes, I am ready, Smacky. All right, well, in that case, I am ready to do the mob battle of the century. So let's drop the walls in three, two, one. Let's go. And Cardi, it looks like you literally spotted electricity dragon. Well, I spotted a giant electricity bird. And what on earth is happening, Cardi? This is insane. What? There is so much lightning. And I don't think either of our moms take any damage from the lightning. But it looks like your mom is literally getting electrocuted. What? And look at the floor. There is so much electrocution. I know, Cardi. And whoa. That is insane looking. And what on earth is happening? How did we both spot in lightning bombs that I think yours might be better? I don't know, Cardi, because your thing is doing some insane electricity attacks. But is my mom doing the electricity or is yours? I don't even know, but your guys has electricity all around them. That is so cool. I know, Cardi. And whoa, everything is so electric. Come on, Mr. Thunder Dragon, you can win. There is no way it's going to win. Hey, come on. Kill the dragon soon. And come on. I think your dragon's getting a lot weaker. It's getting a lot slower. And wait, I just saw it take a lot of damage. And Cordy, is it gone now? Smirky, look, the dragon is dead. It just fell into the ground. Let's go. And my legendary electricity bird is still doing lightning damage. It really wants its enemy gone. Well, Smirky is already won and the dragon is 100% dead. I know, Cordy, and I think it's kind of stuck in the ground and now it's a skeleton. What the heck? Come on. Oh my gosh. I can't believe you won. I know, Cardi. That was kind of crazy, but you know what? I kind of have a secret to show you. So you know what? Let's reset the arena. So Cardi, come over here and look at this. Do you know how I was spawning in the best mobs ever every single round? Wait, what is this? This is basically a machine that I built that you can talk into this microphone and spawn in what Ever you want. And, um, I was kind of using one-way glass to know what I needed to spawn into. And you were cheating with this the entire time. Oh my gosh, I do not forgive you. I'm sorry, Cardi. You know what? If you want the win, you can have it because that was really fun. Let's go. I won. That was super easy. What are you talking about, Cardi? Well, if you enjoyed this Cardi and Smirky video, remember to like and subscribe. Bye. Subscribe.